Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a full review to do for you on the Tactile Knife Company Bayer. Um, it's spelled B-E-X-A-R, if I'm not mistaken. I, along with many of you, probably read that the first time and didn't think Bayer. Bayer is a county, sorry for that burp, Bayer is a county in Texas, either at or near where the Tactile Knife Company is located. That's where that name come, came from. It's pronounced Bayer, like B-A-Y-E-R. So you're welcome for that tidbit. If you didn't know that, I had to learn that, I think, on my podcast with Michael from Tactile Knife Company. Um, anyway, so I am going to show it in here for a second because this has been my favorite way to carry it, although I've carried it in a number of ways. Um, this is a VanQuest little... I don't know what this thing is actually called, um, but it's like a pocket organizer. I toss this thing in my fanny pack, and it actually lives in my fanny pack the majority of the time. I've got the Bayer in here. I have a Dapper Designs little flashlight. I've got a Refine um, EP1 pen, and then I've got on this side some cards and some cash, and it's a great little pocket organizer. And this has been in my fanny pack for probably a month and a half in this exact configuration. The only thing that's been different has been when I've been traveling on an airplane, I have to take the Bayer out of it, which sucks because that's kind of my favorite part of it. But then I've still got this whole organizer in my fanny pack and this all can go on a plane, which is nice. So anyway, the Bayer just slots right in there and it fits perfectly and it's easy to get in and out, but it holds in a snug enough way that I'm not worried about it and it's great. So. This is a slip joint, and I have just recently grown to appreciate slip joints in a way that I didn't previously. I'm liking slip joints lately, and I'm kind of finding that I just enjoy having a couple around. Uh, this is the slimmest, most modern, just different, in an awesome way, slip joint that I've experienced. This one is done in Magna Cut, which is the new, that new new, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Magna Cut is an awesome steel. I have been experiencing it on this and on my ProTec ATCF and on a fixed blade that I can't talk about yet and on a, a number of things and I've just been loving it. I will say as well, this knife came out of the box fairly sharp. It certainly was acceptably sharp for a factory edge. Um, and I was enjoying it the way that it was, but I kind of got the itch to sharpen some things and I had my KME out. And so I did put a fresh edge on this knife and sharpening Magna Cut was a dream. Um, I just found it super, super easy to sharpen the way that I could control, um, the burr and move it back and forth and the way that it deburred and like, it was, it was really nice to sharpen. Granted, this is probably a pretty approachable blade to sharpen as well, which is a strong suit of the knife, but it was very easy to set up in the jaws and not a super weird, like aggressive belly or anything. It was a pretty easy knife to sharpen. And the fact that it was Magna Cut definitely helped with that. Plus I've just been having great experience using Magna Cut. Magna Cut has pretty great edge retention. It's got good levels of toughness and it is like incredibly stainless. So it's just a wonderful steel to actually have on a knife to carry and use. Um, so this being a slip joint, we've got a half stop right there and then full stop. I don't know, is that what you call it? <laughs> it's closed and then there's a half stop and then it's open and then there's a half stop and then it's closed. Um, I really, really like that. That's a thing on slip joints. I'm not an expert on slip joints. I think a lot of people call it like the walk and talk of the slip joint. It's like how much pressure it takes to unfold and to refold and to get through that half stop and all that. And this one feels really good. The only other slip joint that I actively have and keep around is my Birdviz Hitchcock, which is remarkable. And that thing is a beauty. And that one is a lot stiffer than this is. But this is still much stiffer than I've felt some other slip joints be. This is like probably a good kind of right in the middle. Like, I don't know if I was calling it like if a, my bird vis is like a 9 or a 10 on stiffness, this thing is like a 5 or a 6. It's not so loose that I'm worried about it like collapsing in easily. You've got good pressure back here. Um, and it's not opening easily. It's got good pressure here. But it's also not difficult to open and close, which some slip joints can be kind of bordering on difficult, right? Um, so yeah, it's got a great, great action, if you want to call it that. 
centering on it is perfect. It is so freaking thin. Look at this thing. Um, so yeah, this is just a really, really cool knife. The fact that it's being done in Magna Cut, the fact that it's titanium and that it's this thin just makes it kind of in a class of its own in a lot of ways. It's so modern, but also still so properly a slip joint. And I like that about it. Um, all right, so let's talk about kind of Ergo's carry cutting and action, I guess I already talked about a little bit, but let's let's properly review this thing. I should say as well, Tactile Knife Company did send this to the channel for review, so full transparency, they sent this to me. They're really nice guys over there, um, and I appreciate them doing that. So I'm gonna try as hard as I can to not be biased about the knife because they sent it to me, and I'm gonna talk about it as honestly as I possibly can, um, like in, in the terms of trying to remove that bias, which is impossible, but trying to at least circumnavigate it. <laughs> um, all right, so ergos. This knife is super comfortable. As you can see, it's really, really neutral. Um, th the most uncomfortable thing about it, honestly, is how thin it is. But that's also like my favorite thing about this knife. We'll talk more about that thinness, but it just doesn't fill the hand super well in terms of like thickness, but it does fill the hand for me. I wear medium gloves, but I fill them out real well. I get all four fingers on here. Um, it's comfortable profile wise to hold on to and it just I don't know. It's plenty of knife I feel like a lot of slip joints in particular tend to be on the smaller end and this isn't a big knife It's not a large knife by any means, but it isn't like I don't know, I'm able to get all four fingers on it Which I really like a lot of slip joints I feel like you've got this much handle and then your pinkies kind of hanging off and I just like that It's a proper full size for my hand grip um yeah, the thinness just makes it feel less confidence inspiring than if you had more to hold on to, but that's the natural result of going for a thin handle, right? I will say the thinness does make it index incredibly well. There's no guessing where the edge of this knife is because everything feels so <laughs> straight, right? Because you're feeling the straightness of that handle and the edge is following that line. So it's very easy to predict where your cut is going to land with exactness in that way. Um, yeah, ergonomically, I'd say for the thinness, it is wonderful. If it was thicker, it would probably feel more comfortable in hand. But let's talk about carry next because the thinness of this sucker, obviously when it's in that pouch thing and it's in my fanny pack, it's not really about comfort. But I have tossed this into the fifth pocket of a couple of pairs of pants that I have that have kind of deeper fifth pockets where like this much of the knife will stick out of the fifth pocket. And this thing, if you have a deep fifth pocket on your pants, is like the greatest dream ever to carry. It's easy to forget it's there. It is the thinnest knife I think I've ever actually owned. That is like a real proper knife in a real steel. That's not just like a gimmick. This thing is so thin. And the result of it being so thin is also that naturally, especially for a slip joint, which slip joints in construction tend to get heavy quickly, it's really light. So it's super light, super thin, and it's just going to be the most comfortable thing you've ever put in your pocket because all of the corners are perfectly rounded, everything feels super ultra smooth, and then it's thin and light. And it's just, it's remarkable in that way. You could literally slip this into a pack of gum and it would just look like another piece of gum sticking out of <laughs> your pack of gum. It is so tiny and thin. It's like two sticks of gum stuck together, basically. Maybe three at the most. Um, really, really small. And I love that about it. Um, so yeah, carry is a dream. Cutting with this thing is really good. So look how thin this blade stock is. And then imagine there's any grind on it at all, which there is. It's a nice tall flat grind. The result is a really thin behind the edge profile and it stays thin because it never gets thick. So passing this through things like cardboard, it just whizzes through things, um, especially with this fresh edge that I put on it. Like I said, the edge was good that came on it. I didn't have a problem with the edge, but this edge I put on in, compared like in combination with how insanely thin this cutting profile is this geometry is just bananas because it's so thin um the thinness is doing this knife a ton of favors everything other than that one kind of ergonomic gripe i have is 
benefited by the thinness. And slicing is like this knife's middle name. It's just really, really good in that way. The blade shape as well, um, being a slip joint, you're not gonna wanna like put a bunch of pressure this way <laughs> when you're cutting through things because you can close the knife. It's not locked open, that's the way it works. Um, but having this clip point, I have found if I am kind of drawing a line through something is really nice. It's kind of a bowie, but it allows you to put the tip of your finger up here. Um, you can kind of articulate all over this thing and everything is smooth and it feels nice. There's no jimping anywhere. I really, really, really like it. Um, action we already talked about. So Ergo's carry cutting action. That's everything. Yeah. The walk and talk is nice. Again, it's kind of like a five or a six. Not that I'm an expert. I might be off because I just haven't handled enough slip joints to actually have that accurate of a scale. But to me, it's about on the middle <laughs> of difficulty to open and close. Um, yeah, this thing is wild. The fact that they're making a, a slip joint so modern, I just love. And especially like, I feel like a lot of modern slip joints, they try to really follow a super traditional pattern. And this one looks fairly traditional in its pattern, especially the blade shape. But even like this handle shape, it doesn't scream traditional knife to me. And it's really just like nods to a traditional knife while taking it way more modern than traditional. Like the blend of modern and traditional here is like 80% modern, 20% traditional. Whereas oftentimes it feels more like a 50-50 where you're getting like a traditional knife and a traditional pattern and it's just modern materials. But this has some like modern lines and the way that this titanium is done on here is it's it feels just like the tactile turn pens if you've ever felt one of those and it feels like the other tactile knife cone knives it's got this great texture to it and it's freaking magna cut and titanium and it's just awesome it's really really cool this is an exciting slip joint in its own right and I, I don't know how the guys who are like diehard traditional slip joint guys would feel about it. Maybe it's too much of a departure from the traditional side of slip joints that they'd feel like this is heresy. But as someone who's not like in that camp, right, who just generally enjoys the more modern knives than the more traditional knives, this makes me really happy because I'm getting a, a traditional opening method and a cool kind of traditional inspired blade shape and the rest of it just feels fully modernized to me and I like that a lot. So anyway, I guess that'll kind of be my full review of this guy. I love it, I think it's great. I plan to keep it in that thing in my fanny pack indefinitely. It fits perfectly, it's so functional to have there. It's a great knife to be able to pull out and use in a ton of different circumstances. I love it for a lot of reasons. Um, so it's gonna keep right on living there and it's just gonna be the knife for that application for me, I think, for the foreseeable future. Um, yeah, it's great. I'm also looking forward to at Blade Show Texas. I'm hoping I can make it work schedule-wise. I think it's Saturday evening. They're doing an open house at their shop, which is not that far from where Blade Show Texas is. So I think I'm gonna try to make it work to go to that if I can and see their shop, which would be really exciting. Um, the guys over there are super nice. Michael's really cool. Will Hodges is great. Um, every time I meet all of their guys at a show, I'm always like, oh, you guys are great. Like they're just really nice dudes who care about knives, also care about pens. They care about EDC and they get it. You know, I like knowing that they're not just a pen company who saw an opportunity to make knives. Instead, they were a pen company first. Tactile Turn makes pens and they make some of my favorite pens in the world. But they're also all guys who are nerdy about knives and are making knives now because they want to have the knives that they want. So they're going to make them and they're making them in Texas and they're doing them at price points that are kind of baffling for the fact that they're making them stateside in the materials that they are. Um, anyway, rant over. I will link to Tactile Knife Co. down below. Again, I really appreciate them for sending this to me. That means a lot. And uh, it's great. I really love this knife. So appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.